PGS, or pre-implantation genetic screening, is an option for patients who are undergoing in vitro fertilization, or IVF, at Mount Sinai Fertility. By screening your embryo's chromosomes before embryo transfer, PGS may improve your chance of having a healthy baby. Possible benefits of PGS include increased pregnancy rate per embryo that is transferred, reduced miscarriage rate per embryo that is transferred, reduced chances of having a baby with a chromosome condition, reduced chance of multiple gestation, and reduced time between IVF and a successful pregnancy. So what are chromosomes? Chromosomes are structures found in every cell of our body and are made up of DNA. DNA contains all the instructions for how our bodies will function, grow, and develop. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell of the body, or 46 chromosomes in total. The egg contributes 23 chromosomes, or one of each pair, and the sperm contributes the other 23. So PGS determines whether your embryo has the correct number of chromosomes, but why is this useful? If an embryo has an incorrect number of chromosomes, either too many or too few, then it cannot develop normally. While people of all ages are at risk of having an embryo with a chromosome difference, this risk increases with age, specifically the age of the person providing the egg. This chart illustrates how the percentage of embryos that are chromosomally abnormal, or aneuploid, increases with age. If an embryo with an incorrect number of chromosomes is transferred to the uterus, it can fail to implant and not result in a pregnancy, implant and lead to a pregnancy but then result in miscarriage, or result in a baby with a chromosomal condition. How is PGS performed? Embryos created through IVF are grown in the lab until they reach the blastocyst stage, which is at day five or day six after fertilization. A few cells are then removed from the part of the embryo that will develop into the placenta. This is called an embryo biopsy. The biopsied cells are sent to the laboratory for chromosome screening while your embryos remain frozen at Mount Sinai Fertility. You will be contacted by a genetic counselor with the PGS results once they are available, and then embryos with the correct number of chromosomes are selected for transfer or can remain frozen for future use. Who should consider PGS? Everyone who is having IVF can potentially benefit from PGS. However, it can be particularly beneficial if you are older than 36, you've had a history of multiple miscarriages, you've had multiple embryo transfers that have not been successful, or you have had a pregnancy affected by a chromosomal abnormality. Let's take a moment to discuss the possible results of PGS. Your embryo could be euploid, meaning that it has the correct number of chromosomes and has the best chance of resulting in a pregnancy and developing into a healthy baby. You could have an aneuploid embryo, which has too few or too many chromosomes. In most cases, these will not result in a pregnancy, and if one does occur, there will be a high chance of miscarriage. Sometimes results aren't as clear and are considered inconclusive. You may hear the term mosaic, which means that your embryo has some cells with the correct number of chromosomes and some with extra or missing whole or partial chromosomes. These types of embryos have many possible outcomes which your genetic counselor will discuss further with you. There could also be failed or indeterminate results, meaning that it was not possible for the lab to provide a result for the embryo. It may be possible to re-biopsy and retest the embryo, and your counselor will discuss these results with you in more detail as well. While PGS may improve IVF outcomes, it is important to keep in mind that it has limitations. Some individuals may need multiple IVF cycles with PGS before a euploid embryo is identified for transfer, especially if they do not produce many eggs. PGS may not improve pregnancy rates if there's a problem with the uterus that prevents implantation. PGS cannot detect all possible chromosome differences, single gene disorders like cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia, multifactorial conditions like autism spectrum disorder, or congenital birth defects. Please remember that although transfer of a euploid embryo increases the chance of pregnancy, it does not guarantee it. What are the next steps if you are interested in PGS? Please review the supplemental information about PGS on our website and talk to your Mount Sinai fertility physician. If you are interested in proceeding with PGS, your physician will then refer you to one of our genetic counselors for a more detailed discussion.